Uh, your number three edge rusher in the class of 2024 is? Will be Jared Verse out of Florida State, right? Jared Verse, I mean, come on, body. This is a Greek god body, right? That, that That's, the, I think, where you start. I mean, when you kind of turn on the film, right, I did get a chance to meet him in person, too. I mean, he, he's rocked up, right? I mean, everywhere. It's it's incredible arms, incredible shoulders, neck, whatever, right? He doesn't have the waist and the legs that Latu and Dallas Turner have, right? It's a little, again, I like the legs. Do I wish it was a little more narrow-waisted than the butt and the thighs really kind of stick out, protrude a little bit, right? Like, you know, can you picture Lawrence Taylor back in the day, right? That look, Micah Parsons, right? They have that look where it's like the waist is here, Mm -hmm. and then we get to the butt and the legs, and they're just like, whoa, there's something different about that, right? That's what, you know, he doesn't quite have that. It's still a good leg don't get me wrong twitchy as hell right explosive maybe in a lot of ways twitchier than dallas turner right twitchier and i mean the like oh oh oh, he's right here get off me oh i got it right dallas turner's so smooth and long it just looks a little different that way right short area quickness maybe he's a little twitchier and quicker in those ways than a dallas turner and even latu in, in some ways right but at the same time you know, might be twitchier and all that, but he's not in the same class, right, as far as the speed and the ability to bend around the corner as Dallas Turner or Latu in that department. He's a little bit of a stiff player, and that's why he's number three, right? It's strong. It's powerful, right? You know, there's explosion on contact and all that. You like that, but he is a guy that he gets put in some awkward positions, and you go, ooh, he's going to go down, right? He plays, to me, smaller than 6'4", 254, right? To me, the difference between – and you, this is why I brought this up with the other guys. The other guys are naturally that. It's easy for them to be that. Jared Verse, I get it by seeing him in person and then watching the tape too. He's, he's not a natural 254. He's had to work really hard to be 254. Mm. I would bet you he's like 235 or 230 naturally walking around, right? And that leads to, yeah, maybe not quite, not the same strength as Latu or Dallas Turner to get off blocks, to just straight arm people and disengage and throw them that way. That's where he's a little bit different. He does not have the pass rush bend and potential. Uh, nor is he the player they are at this second as Dallas Turner or Latu. But damn, a really damn good edge player. There's no doubt about that. So get what he did during COVID here. What's that? He built a home oh, gym I know. with his dad, right. put on 40 pounds of muscle. So that's where he got the extra 40 pounds that would not have been natural without COVID. Thank God for the pandemic. Sure <laughs> I know. Will be he a told us that story. Pick. It's a cool story. Yeah, he's, he's got a dad that's you know was in the armed forces, right? So he is all about his business and work hard and be happy that I'm grateful for these, you know, that I got this opportunity and all that. He's a great kid. He's going to be a great leader. He's going to work hard. He's going to do everything you want. And yeah, he's big time. I mean, he's your starting edge guy right away, day one. And there's no doubt about it that he's a first rounder. He just is missing a few things as far as the pass rush is concerned that the other guys have that are that are pretty special in that department. Lance Zerline from NFL.com says he has hellish speed to power, bull rushing ability to run tackles deep into the pocket. PFF says his hands are powerful and violent. His swipes look like they hurt. Uh, so some of the things they saw yeah. with, with Verse here. Uh, th- th- I think a slam dunk first round pick is Definitely. what most people believe, yes. and that's what you believe as well. Yeah, I, I believe that as well. You know, again, I, I don't know. I don't think this is top twenty, right? I don't think we're in that area here. I think we're probably more into the eighteen to thirty-two range, maybe twenty to thirty-two, right? I guess that's kind of where I would see it. Uh, you know, there's some of that here, and we'll talk about this with the next guy too, where. You know, speed to power is not bad, right? But I don't know if I don't know if I'm sold on it working as much in the NFL as it did in college, right? To to just at least counter those points, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Where again, it's it's a different animal, and his speed is not that of to where I go, ooh, that's really going to threaten the top tackles in football with his upfield speed, first step, any of that, right? He's a little bit of a short strider. He's a little bit like the opposite of Dallas Turner, where 
sometimes it looks like he's moving faster than he really is, right? Because the feet are a little bit more like Fred Flintstone, and they go fast, and there's a lot of turnover. Yeah. But you see him run down somebody, and you go, well, he don't run him down like Dallas Turner does, right? And that's where, again, the trained eye, looking at it more and more, you know, as you watch, those things start to, to pop out to you more and more. So he did the dodecagon. The 12-sided gone. So this might be the record. I don't know that we've had a dodecagon. I'm sure we have have in the past, but, I mean, this is all 12. This is all 12 sides right here. And uh, broad jump was very good, 90th percentile, 40-yard dash. Uh, What what is he lacking in? The weight, like you mentioned, and he might be playing heavier or as heavy as he can. Wingspan down just a little bit there. Arm length in the 50th percentile. Strong, though. Bench press in the 92nd percentile. Yeah. The, what, and, and, and Matt, Casey, did, if you let me know, what is Latu's wingspan? I think I missed that. I don't know if we got to it, and maybe we don't have it. But, like, yeah, you know, th- that that's what's going to scare people a little bit, right? We saw a wingspan for, I know, Dallas Turner, and it was totally towards the end, right? You know, this is what I would worry about. This is why I don't put him in the same spot as Latu or Dallas Turner because of, again, not only the explosive ability, the bend, his first step, you know, his first two or three steps because they're shorter strides. They don't cover the same ground that Latu and especially Dallas Turner, who's like the longest damn strides and legs you've ever seen, right? But then, too, you know, you, you worry about with a guy like this is not naturally as big and doesn't have the length and the wingspan is he can get swallowed up a little bit and he does not get off blocks the same way those guys do because of that, right? Again, because of Latu's length and wingspan and shoulders and same with Dallas Turner, they were awesome at holding people out, locking their arms and disengaging and making tackles. That's not necessarily what his strength is all the time, right? Latu's you know, was only in the 16th percentile wow. for wingspan. It's, it's so crazy. I mean, that's one where... Yeah, the numbers aren't going to match up, but wow, you watch the film and I sit there and just go, it's one of the, the things that I looked at to be one of the strong traits of what he does. I know. I know. So I'm, I'm, I am surprised by that. Um, and, you know, again, that's why you watch the film and sometimes you can't always go with the numbers. We're going to have some guys that we talk about our honorable mentions or still receiving votes after this where I'm going to go, you know, hey, yeah, there's some things here that you don't like, but they have this, this, and this that counterbalances it, and you go, wow, that's awesome, right? But, you know, more on verse, right? We talked about the limbs not being as long, 6'4", 254. I think he has to work to be that. He does get tired, right? Mm. That would be another thing that I would say jumps out as you watch games. You watch the games and you start to go, he's so high effort, and he plays so hard, and because I think he's not naturally as big as what he is, right, I do think he gets gas. You see it on certain drives, and you see it as the game goes along. And I think those are you know, things that certainly popped out to me that I didn't see on the other guys. Talked about his stiffness and his tightness a little bit, right? You know, he's, he's uh, definitely ends up on the ground and gets pushed out of position a little bit more than the other two guys. He's yeah. not as good in that he department. Does, he, he's a little clunkier, right? Lateral yes. movement, just a little clunkier. You watch, yes. you watch him right after you've watched Turner and Latu, and it's not really that close. Uh, Halil's football talk says, do you believe there's a clear big three at the top with Latu, Turner, and Verse? Uh, where you can make the case for any is edge one, depending on what you're looking for. Now, that's what you're doing here, the practice of separating these guys, and you do have a clear pecking order for uh, the edge. I think one and two are in a different – you know, obviously, I think they're in a different tier or class. Yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, that, yeah. I mean, there you do hear discussion that you know, Dallas. Some people love Dallas Turner. Some people love Latu. And you do hear some people saying, "Yeah, I could take verse first off the board, depending on what you're looking for." Yeah. But you don't. You wouldn't see it depending on what any team's looking for. I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he's clear cut first rounder. I think as you go through this, and again, you know. I don't think this is one me going against the draft community or anything like that. I think it's the more people watch, they're going to. It's just go. making a case. Could you make a case for verse number one? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. You know, I just don't think the the raw ability is there, let alone the r- raw size of the human is not mm-hmm. in the same level as the other two guys. I wouldn't trust it. I have a hard time thinking that. You know, coaches and front office people who are very true to these things in a lot of ways, right? I have a hard time thinking they're going to be able to trust that, right? And, you know, it's just, hey, it's the bend, it's the length. 
He doesn't set the edge and get off the blocks like we talked about. Like you said, it's very obvious to see that right away, right? He doesn't have the first step the other guys have, right? Um, his bend is kind of overwhelming, right? His, he's got good strength, but it's not like – on the level of the other two where you go, well, they dominate the tight end every time. And the tackle, their worst plays are stalemates, right? Mm -hmm. and that's a big thing for me. What do your worst plays look like? Oh, nothing, right? You just stood him up at the line of scrimmage. He's got some plays where the worst plays are, yeah, he's on the ground or he gets pushed back a few yards or all that. So really like the guy, starting edge guy, 3-4 outside linebacker, pass rusher, DN, whatever you want him to be. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's somewhere between 20 and 32. Yo, yo, homies, what's up? I know it's the offseason, but it's never the offseason on Chris Sims Unbutton. Me and Ahmed Farid are going to be here for it all. You know we got free agency. We're going to break it all down. The draft, the rankings of positions, a of course, we're going to unpack it all. Hit subscribe, get to my free agency reactions, 2024 draft rankings and more. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, homies. See you soon.